Hello, new, and welcome back to the journey, or welcome to the journey. I am Heather Williams with Journey to Forever Fit, here with another workout. Today we are doing a beginner barbell workout. We got three songs, we have four exercises. Real quick, this is a great way to introduce barbell work into your workouts for those of you who aren't doing it, or for those of you who have sent me emails and DMs about, hmm, how do I join your body pump class or how do I get ready? I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. But this is a great way to prepare for body pump. All right, so a couple of things. Make sure you have your space cleared. I'll push some furniture back. Make sure you have your water. And if you have subscribed, thank you. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscription button. Make sure you hit the bell for the notifications for our next video. I'm going to click on the music and get us started. Grab your bar. And let's start. Take your shoulders, pick them up, down into your back. We're gonna just do a little warm up here. Just going over some of the moves that you will see. So we're doing a deadlift down. We go two down and come up two. I want you to push your weight in your heels. I wanna turn sideways, abs tight, shoulders down in the back. We have one more. And now can you come down, hold it right here, drop the shoulders back in row. We'll do four rows, three, two, and one. All right, stand nice and tall. Can you flip your hands under? Give me a bicep curl. Step out wide. Let's do four squats. Four, now when we do our set of full squats, we'll do a back loaded squat. And release. Release here. Step in, let's do deadlifts again. Push your butt back over your heels. We're still warming up. Nice and easy. We just want to get the muscles a little loose, a little warm, get some blood flowing. One more, let's drop down and hold and squeeze. So we've added a row in. One more and release. Soften your knees, bring your bar to the floor. Hands to your thighs, step out. Round your back, hang here. And shoulders down into your back, sit. Inhale up. Exhale out, one more, inhale up. All right, let's jump in. So exercise one, we're gonna start with squats. I want you to grab your bar. Place your bar at the meaty part of your back. Step out, hips forward, let's drop. One, two, three, four, you got it? One, two, and now let's single squat for eight, six, Four more. And one, hold it. All right, one set down. Nice and easy. Step a little wider. This time we're gonna turn out. Hips come forward, soften your knees, drop straight down for eight. Put your weight into your heels. Make sure as you're pushing your knees out towards the toes, they don't go over the toes. And four, three, two, and one. Okay, shake it out. Let's slide in one more set. Hips come forward, two, two down four times. One, two, up, two. Drop, two, lift, two. Down for two, lift, one more. We're gonna lift this bar up and over. Push up and shoulders down into your back to the top of the knees for the deadlift. Now, if you're still a little confused about this deadlift, a couple things here. You're softening your knees. Pretend you're standing at the top of a building and leaning over. We have three more on this two count. And one more. Hold it down. Shoulders back, revisit that row. Squeeze. Two. So back to that deadlift because we are going to deadlift again. I also have for you in the how to section, my body doesn't do that yet, a how to deadlift. One more, guys. Arms straight, shoulders down into your back. Deadlift two, two. Little deeper into that deadlift. You want to think posterior chain working the hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. We stand tall. Don't worry about breath placement here. 
we're doing four more. Four. You got it. Three. Come on. Two. And one. All right, take your hands a little wider on your bar, step wide. Squat in, push your butt back, drop down and row. You wanna come right to the middle of the abdomen, right to the belly. Elbows back, sit in your heels for long count. Three, come on, two, and one. All right, arms straight, stand up. Keep your wide stance. We're doing four deadlifts. Three, two, one. Make sure your shoulders don't get out in front of you. Yes. This is a great way, like I said earlier, to end a run. A great way to end a bike ride or a walk. Big muscles, a lot of muscles working. And hold it. Soften the knees, come on up. Rotate side to side, all right. Get a little water and then come on down to the floor. We're gonna do chest and then we'll stretch. Like I said, three songs, four exercises and we're out. Let's hit the floor. Now, I'm gonna prepare you to do a chest press on the floor. There are a couple different ways to do it. If you're on a bench, you won't have to hyper extend as high as we're going to on the floor. So let's take our hands. If you can see, my hands are out on the bar, inside of the plate and the outside of my hand connect. Popping my chest up, creating a little space in the floor, between me and the floor. Heels come back to the glutes, elbows down, and we press up two without locking those elbows. Up two, and then the bar just hovers the chest. Up two, and release. Up two, and breathe through. Again, not worrying about breath placement. One set down, hold it right here. Give me that pelvic tilt, stretch out. Place your butt back down. Now pop your chest, little arch between the lower back and the floor. Belly's tight, let's press up. Eight. Seven. For four, three, two, let's eat out two more, one, and hold. All right, walk your shoulders back, three down, three, two, one, press. Now, I just looked into the screen for two reasons, to make sure I am demonstrating <laughs> good form, but I chuckled because I also looked into the screen because I'm so used to checking form with people in my Zoom classes. I think it's just habit. And I gave you all of that to say, I need you, once you have your form and you know you and I are doing the same thing. Oh, that's it. Oh, three, two, hover your chest, get those elbows up and release. Walk your heels out, come on up. So once you have your form and that, let's sit with our legs straight, arms out. Once you have your form and the chest press, keep your focus to the ceiling and keeping your focus to the ceiling, reach over nice and easy. Watch the shoulders so they don't shrug. And then other side. And we're gonna do a little double arm reach over the head. You wanna keep your focus up in the chest press that way, the shoulders stay even, no tension in the neck, and then sweep your arms around. I'm clasping my fingers behind me, focus to the thighs, elevate the arms slightly. Good, all right. We're gonna roll to one side, just like this hand here. So we're seated up, a lot of space. You'll hear me say a lot of real estate between the body and the floor. Shoulder, we're not sinking into the shoulder. We're lifting up. Take the hand, nice, easy, gentle quad stretch. Shoulders stay down into your back, abs tight. 
And then we're gonna take the foot, cross over, and hold. You can hold here, get that little stretch in the hip. If you want a deeper stretch, rotate, pull in gently on the knee. And we come out of this stretch and swing our legs around to the other side. So we are here. Again, lift up the chest. Reach up and over. Make sure that shoulder doesn't drop down. Now, if you have this in your practice, you can come down to your forearm without dropping the head, but you can always stay elevated. All right, bring the hand here. Come back for that quad stretch. Heel towards the glute. And then swing that leg around. You can hold here, getting that hip stretch or rotate here, nice and easy. Breathe through it. Remember not to hold your breath. And release. Coming into butterfly here, or my fave, easy pose. All right, inhale up. Exhale, reach one more time. And hands down. Excellent. Give yourselves a round of applause. Please hydrate for me, please. One more time. Three songs, four exercises, and we are done. So, I bid you adieu. <laughs> Can you tell I've been watching Bridgerton? Um, and I want to thank you for taking time, being with me, subscribing to the channel. I will see you in the next work out. And don't forget, we are still doing the plank challenge. So if you haven't joined the email list, click the link below, sign up. You still have time to win that $50 Amazon card. But for now, I will see you soon. Bye.